Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be spraying my work truck with uh, some Raptor liner spray can. Maybe they turn out good. Now it says you're supposed to scuff this up really good. So I got some 180 grit sandpaper and I'm just sanding the crap out of it. Trying to get any shiny spot off of it. Then we're going to blow it off and clean it real good and I'm going to spray a sucker. I hate sanding. I went to AutoZone and they only had three cans of that uh, Raptor liner, so I'm going to spray this side right here and see where I'm at, see how much I have left, and go from there. I got this side, Santa, so I'm going to blow it off. All right, I got this side sanded and blew off and I'm going to take some degreaser and just clean it off good. All right, I'm going to let that dry good. And I got some of this masking tape that's got the tape and plastic together. I'm going to tape up some of my lights and windows and all that stuff. And, and I'm going to spray it. I'm going to try to cover, cover the bumper and... Anything I'm not spraying, cover it up good. I'm just going to go ahead and cover this hood up. I'm going to be spraying it, but i we'll make sure I have enough. That green, green uh, 3M tape is a lot better than this, but that stuff is very expensive. I'm going to take this off right after I spray it, too, so it should come off pretty easy. I'm going to take a clean rag and I guess I need to take my light up. Give me a clean rag and just go over it one more time. Getting dirt off of it. We tape this light up. If not, we'll have a Raptor liner tinted tail lights. That'd be nice. Ain't seen that before. It's my shop truck. I drive it all the time and I'm rough with it. And it's been through a lot. And I'm hoping this bed liner will like, I don't have to worry about any paint chipping or anything like that. So, all right. So you're supposed to use an etcher, Raptor Acid Etch Primer, but I ain't got none of that. So we're just going to spray it. <laughs> Put my mask on here. I'm going to put one solid coat and see what that looks like. Hey, so far so good. I like it. What do you think? So far, so far so good. I think I should have went all the way down on each side instead of good in sections. I think, I just don't know if you're going to be able to see these lines, but if I have enough left over, I'll go all the way up and down it. So far so good. Hey, I found this thing. I knew I had one, I just couldn't find it. But put this on the can, make it a little easier, I think. All right, this should be a little easier now. I think this time, 
what I did the first time, I was going and I was stopping. I think this time I'm going to go and then go all the way down the bed, one coat, to get all these lines out. It's a lot smoother than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really textured, but it's actually pretty smooth. Hey, don't touch wet paint. What was I thinking? I'm going to put another coat on it and see how this works. All right, I got uh, two coats on it. I think it turned out pretty good. So it took me two cans to do this one side. So got two more on the other side, that's four and five for the back and probably six. Probably gonna need four more cans. That's not bad. What's well, two? 20 times 7 is what? 240? 20 times 7 is 240? 140? 140? I don't know. You can figure that out yourself. I'm not the best with math. I think it's 140. Park it outside in the sun. And check it out. I think it turned out pretty good. You can tell the difference smooth and got a little texture to it. I guess I'll wait for AutoZone to get some more Raptor liner. I may have to order it, but hey, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.